the people that were gunning for you, gunning for your demise, they are so embarrassed right now. They are absolutely mortified. You guys are showing people what a rare being of love and light does. You are showing people why you make people feel so special, why you make them feel so loved. You are showing people why you're amazing why you have these unique abilities and how you just use them so effortlessly. Hold the freaking phone. Hold the phone because God has changed the minds of your enemies. Welcome in. You guys are realizing that you are a positive influence even on the meanest of people. And so people are really taking notice of you right now because your training wheels are off. Houston, the training wheels are off. Hold my Barbie. Hold the freaking phone because you have shifted. Okay, you guys have shifted and now you guys are moving secretly and everyone's like, what are they going to do next? So people are watching you in amazement. People are in awe of how courageous you are. They're in awe of how you are always evolving and always shifting. And you guys have very unique abilities that people take notice of, but even the most evilest of schemers are changing their tune even though they feel very insecure around you. So God has changed their mind about you. Okay, the universe has changed their mind about you and how they should be maneuvering around you. Now, I do feel like there are some enemies at the top of that list that are really struggling with this but they're losing their audience, okay? The chronic complainers, the chronic bullies in your life are in fact losing their audience. So they're on their soapbox and it's crickets because people are seeing the karma that unfolds and that you have, pure, you have persevered through all of their scheming. You've persevered through all of their plotting. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do, but people are starting to feel stupid for falling for that person's plans. So there are people noticing that you influence powerful people. Now they're noticing that you are a powerful person. You guys are always being talked about in somebody's cubicle. You guys are always being talked about by the water cooler. You guys are the word on the street and they don't know how to act around you. So they're trying to give you help. They're trying to be nice. And you guys might be shocked right now. People are realizing that they believed a lie. Okay, people were out here believing lies about you. And now they're hoping that you will accept their support, that you will accept their kindness. And you might be looking at them like, I don't want to be best friends with you. You've been the enemy. You've been the op for this long. But you guys are learning to forgive. And this person, these people might try to start having your back. But I'm getting people are falling in love with you. And what they were being told about you was in fact a lie. They've been watching, okay? They've been watching very closely, the people that have changed their mind about you and they're starting to see that like, oh my gosh, like they're not a bad person. Oh my gosh, they're not conceited. Oh my gosh, they're not self-absorbed. They're very kind. All of these things I was told about this person were was a lie and they're starting to realize that they let their own insecurities play out in a scenario where they were mean to you. And that is all turning around. So that is leaving less and less of an audience for the person at the top that is that has the main issue with you, wanting people to follow them like minions. Dang. People wanted to believe that you were doing the most, okay? People wanted to, in fact, believe that you were doing the most, that you were not a kind person, that you were moody or bossy, and now they know better. Okay, whatever has um, happened, they know better. You guys have people everywhere that are constantly sprung on you. 
and that's not for no reason. So because people are so sprung, the people that have changed their mind about you, they're like, well, I want people to be sprung on me like that. I want to be of influence like that to others. So like class is in session. Okay, class is in session. This is unexpected love that you guys are getting from people that were not very nice to you. So you guys are showing people how to be in the light. You guys are showing people how to turn the other cheek. People are embarrassed for how they have treated you. Okay, they see that you are rare. Everyone is talking about you. They were the last ones to get on board, but people are now embarrassed for the way that they have treated you. Anything that they have thrown your way, wow. They are starting to see that you are a teddy bear, that you are of the light, that you are an authority figure, that you are an earth angel. They feel bad for talking about you for so long because they were insecure. Talking about you for so long because they just refused to get on board with the fact that you were not a bad person. So they are being put in the hot seat there has been stability removed from your enemies and now they are freaking mortified okay they're absolutely mortified your guys's training wheels are off and you guys are showing people like i am this person every day of the week i don't care if you secretly hate me or not i am this person every day of the week there are fake connections being removed from you okay and the reason being there are some connections being removed from you at this time is because they on the low have this envy or this jealousy for your life or your relationship, for your status in life, for your spiritual rank. There are certain friendships that we're going to turn frenemy that are being removed because they have this envy towards you. So there are, oh my gosh, Cinderella confirmation. Cinderella just fell on the ground. And I take things that fall on the ground as hidden enemies. They are jealous that you are going from rags to riches. You guys have frenemies that have gotten plucked out of your life because they, when they first met you, felt like, oh, they're not a threat to me, like da 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 da. And then you started to glow up. You guys are in this era of really glowing up hard. You guys are shocking people left and right. And so there's been this feeling that you guys know, you guys have this inner knowing about that they are going to turn into these evil stepsisters in Cinderella. They're going to be the ones tearing at your dress and not being supportive of you. So they are being removed before that can even happen. Okay, I want you guys to comment down below if that is in fact happening to you. I love attracting powerful people. I love attracting helpful people. Can I please have some more? I love being a rare influence. I love being a positive influence in other people's lives. Can I please have some more? And so what I'm seeing is they wanted their opportunity to tear at your dress and they have been removed or relocated. They have been removed, removed from your job. They have been removed from your neighborhood. They have been removed out of sight. They were going to be in the long run a distraction to you because they were jealous of your rank, everything that you are working on what you are destined for. They were jealous of your relationship. And so we have the Uzi. You guys drop your Uzis down below because here on this channel, this is about your protection. You staying prayed up and strapped in every sense of the word. I feel like the people that, um, you guys had some friends that counted you out you guys had some friends that underestimated you they slept on you and you rose to the occasion on top of that your training wheels are coming off so ain't, <laughs> no one knows what to do they feel like everything you're doing right now to them is happening in slow motion okay they feel like every ooh, i'm hearing a airplane it's like mirror mirror on the wall you guys are representing snow white you are representing cinderella you are representing the mirror. They have to look in the mirror. They cannot keep attacking you and throwing things your way. They need to look at what they need to work on. Dang. You guys are reflecting certain things to people and they're just like, what? 
they have not been successful okay some of your enemies have not been successful in trying to remove you trying to remove your spiritual rank trying to remove your microphone they've been trying for a while now they have not been successful And now that they are realizing they have not been successful in any efforts, anything that they've tried, they are losing their audience. The audience that they're losing, the support system that they are losing, they are walking towards you. They are walking towards you. You guys have a rare ability to put people in the hot seat. You guys have a rare ability to make people feel loved. Um, you guys are very kind in the way that you guys treat people. You guys make people feel like they are the only person in the room. Okay. You guys make people feel like they are the only person in the room. Like you are completely activated and intrigued when you are talking to them. People are enamored by you. They love being around you. So think about Mother of Dragons from Game of Thrones. Everyone was like, whoa, just by her beauty. And then she spoke. So people are never expecting you. They are never expecting you to be this person when they first meet you. And then when they get to know you, they feel like, oh my gosh, they really understand me. They're really listening to me. They remembered certain details of things that I told them only one time. You guys have a very special way of treating people that is almost unmatchable. And it's something that you guys do effortlessly. It's something that you guys do naturally. And you guys are divinely protected against people's spell, uh, spell work, against their spiritual warfare. And so you guys are representing this mythical creature. You're getting these divine upgrades, which is this divine support with your training wheels being removed. And the people that secretly hate you are figuring out that none of their plans work. They've been relocated. They have lost things. Their stability has been removed. They've been cut off from really being able to directly communicate with you the way that they would like to. Okay. This is also a period of time where you guys are learning new things. You are learning to have more gratitude. You are learning new things about technology. You are learning certain things about sacrifice and about healing and letting go of trauma. You guys are past thinking that other people are surpassing you. Okay, there could have been people that you looked up to or some of your peers that you thought were surpassing you, that it wasn't fair. How come they're being given these opportunities and I'm not? Like, what am I doing wrong? And you guys are realizing what your path is. You guys are realizing what your destiny is. Okay. So you guys had some friends turn front of me. And you had this inner knowing that, you know, maybe it was time to kind of cut off communication and now you guys are really in touch with your emotions you guys are very intuitive at this time you guys are tapping into your psychic abilities yeah oh my gosh we have the winged seer comment down below i see things clearly can i please have some more i see things clearly can i please have some more those i'm dropping everything those that wanted to create strife in your life, issues, obstacles, they are being told to back off. You guys are learning to be brave with this new life that you are leading. You don't have time for their belief systems that they were trying to press upon you. You don't have time for their attitude. You guys are on a spiritual quest in this new life that you're leading. And you are so excited. You're like, okay, I got my sword. It's time for me to be brave. And you know that there's other people in this other corner that don't like you. But you are very optimistic because a lot of people have changed their mind about you. So that gives you guys hope. Okay? That other people will knock that shit off. That they will stop being so crazy. Yeah, powerful energy shift. You guys are going through a powerful energy shift. You guys are incredibly lucky right now. 
you guys are realizing how unique your abilities are. There are people that have to work towards the type of abilities that you guys have in the way that you make people feel about themselves. And so you guys are being, your gifts are being activated. Your eyes are being activated. Your voice is being activated. And you are starting to see like, oh my gosh, not everything was as it seems. And now I'm, I'm realizing where I need to be, what I need to be doing, how I need to be speaking, how I need to be maneuvering. You guys drop your microphones down below because you guys have had enough of being wallpaper, being in the background, fading into the distance. You guys are rising to the occasion that you are somebody important. Okay, you guys are rising to the occasion that you are someone important. Shots fired. You guys are ready to shoot your shot. This is your bold step forward. You got your sword. You have your protection. The spotlight is on you. You guys are meant to heal and activate others by this love that you bring into their life, by this light that you bring into their life. If you guys have a social media business, you guys even do this through social media. If you guys are um, an influence on people in person, like you are a magnetic at this time extremely magnetic you have been refining and repairing and resetting your craft and you've been evolving as you're evolving you're like oh my gosh the training wheels are coming off you can feel like the last day is approaching if it has not happened already you are no longer this caged bird you no longer feel trapped or possessed You guys are singing, dancing, and you are free. You guys are tapping into being liberated, being free. You are tapping into fertility and healing. There is something going on with you guys. You guys are doing things a lot differently than you normally would. I don't know if it's these retrogrades. I don't know if it's how you're being prompted, but confirmation. You guys are definitely healing. And you're maturing. And so the people that have changed their mind about you, that were never ever really kind to you, that are now changing their tune and their attitude, they are seeing that they need to be a co-creator in your life. They need to work together. Because they've already figured out what happens when they do not do that. Okay? Okay. There were certain cycles that you were supposed to be in until the lesson was completed. And now you guys are breaking free because you have completed a toxic cycle where you felt powerless. Like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get that. I'm never going to be able to get this done. I don't even know why I try. Whatever that was, you are reclaiming your power. You are beginning to conquer this. And it's really taking people by surprise. Okay, you guys are really taking people by surprise. There were certain things that you didn't think that you were ever going to be able to achieve. And you're achieving it this week at the beginning of this chapter, this new chapter. And as you're doing that, people are like, they're like, <laughs> are, the, are my glasses fogging up? Can I see correctly? Yeah. You guys are in a, in a period of soul restoration, you are attracting strong relationships. The love that you have for yourself is maturing. And you have a rare amount of peace in your life right now. Okay, things are synchronized right now. They feel together. They feel harmonious. You are figuring out that what is destined for you cannot miss you. Yeah, you guys could be doing a lot of astral traveling right now. You guys could be sleeping a lot more than normal. I'm getting a lot more leisure, uh, daydreaming, visualizing, meditating. Look, you guys, your wishes are being granted. Your wishes are being granted. Whoa. There were people trying to uh, censor you. 
trying to get your person to leave you. They were trying to get people not to celebrate you. They were at this for a very, very long time. Okay? Trying to remove people from your inner circle. Trying to destroy your heritage. You guys are stepping into your sovereignty. You are reclaiming what's yours. They cannot silence you. They cannot control you. They cannot constrain you. Your rainbows, your blessings, your miracles are being activated. Comment down below. Miracles are being activated for me daily. I am cosmic. I am humble. I am divine. I am intuitive. You stand in your truth and you grow daily. And you are showing everyone I have been consistent. I have showed up every day. I am not some black widow. I am not uh, the person that you need to be worried about. So people are starting to see that you were never the person that they should have been worried about. The person that they should have been worried about was the person that was telling them to attack you. The person that was telling them to be mean to you. That is the person that they, in fact, need to be worried about. They felt forced. They felt like they were always, um, this person was always changing their mind and contradicting everything that they said. They are realizing that that is the person that they should have been worried about because that is who really wants to openly dishonor them. Okay, these people, the chronic complainers at the top of the list, they were not just attacking you, the hero, Cinderella, Snow White, the mother of dragons. When they couldn't get their hands on you, which was very often, they were attacking their followers, their minions. Nothing could really suffice the appetite that they have to be mean to people. Very dark energy. Because you guys are fear, you're more fearless, you're more assertive, you're passionate, you are a champion for your cause. The other people that we're following, that have had a change of heart, they are starting to see that this person that they've been listening to has been behind the scenes mocking them. When they thought they were buddy-buddy, they have um, been vulnerable. They have left their se themselves vulnerable to someone that is very mean. as to, or, or for someone that has been publicly ridiculing them, finding fault in them always. So they haven't only been plotting and scheming on you. They've been plotting and scheming on their followers. And their followers are starting to realize, oh my gosh, I was being mean to Susie. I was being mean to Michael and I should have left them alone. I could take a note or a thing or two from them that would help me out of this toxic situation. So you guys are inspiring, inspiring people right now. And if you haven't dealt with this already, within a few days, you're going to see this shift. Okay. Within a few days, you guys are going to see this shift. You guys are strategically doing things differently. You are being very private. You are not letting people in. Because you are seeing that there were friends that you accepted into your life that are being removed. So why would you just let any old body in at this time? You're not going to do that. Okay, you guys are not doing that at this time. You guys are taking a closer look at people that are trying to get a hold of you. You guys are seeing things differently. I'm proud of you guys because I know that if you are in the public eye or if there's something that you do socially that has to do with your purpose, it's not easy for you to stay quiet about things that you're doing. Okay, that's not easy for you guys to do. But you are figuring it out even though this is unknown territory for you guys. You guys are figuring out how to help others, how to heed the call. But yeah, can you believe that? Not only are people being relocated, but there are people that have changed their mind about you. Because you always stayed true. No matter what was being thrown your way, you always stayed true to the light, to you. And so you've been nothing but consistent with everyone. And people are noticing that. They're like, 
well, Susie's never changed and she's never acted different. So you're the only one that contradicts everything you say. And I've been hearing that you've been talking shit about me. Like people are waking up. Okay, people are waking up to the fact that you are not the bad guy. You never been the bad guy. So those people are feeling really bad. This is a teachable moment for them. This is a very teachable moment for your enemies. There are choices. There are consequences. They are dealing with them. And it is a teachable moment. You guys have a proposal coming in for romance or business. You guys have a romance, a romantic opportunity coming in or a business opportunity coming in. Some type of, of um, opportunity. And then the people that have been up against you and they're changing their mind and they're changing their attitude, they're seeing that the consequences are endless. If they continue to try you, they dealt with all types of things when they were, um, the consequences to effing with you, they cannot mess with your destiny. They cannot mess with your destiny. You guys are cleaning house at this time. So you're seeing the people that have been removed. You are being kind to the people that have changed their tune, but you're not really letting them in. You're just keeping them at arm's length. I feel like a lot of people would like to pry and know about your life at this time, but I don't see you guys really giving them anything. Um, I don't see you guys giving anyone false hope that there will be that opportunity for them to know things that are private about you. And I feel like for the people that were that are feeling bad, that are feeling embarrassed for doing mean things to you, they are saying that this is just an opportunity to be supportive of you. They're not. I don't feel like they're really asking for much more of that. I feel like they're absolutely mortified. It's the people that have not yet really been smacked down by your protection that are really trying to get involved with your future plans. They want to know what all of the possibilities for your life is. They want to know like, okay, well, I know that they have all these cool things going on. Like what else is coming into their life? Like they want to know everything. There are people that want to know everything about what you're going to be getting in the future. There's a lot of jealousy surrounding you because of these rare gifts. And I'm getting this strong um, message about exes that are watching you and they're new people watching you. These are people that you haven't even met. Like for some of you guys, you haven't met your ex's new person. Okay, you might not even have seen a picture of them on social media, but they think that they have you figured out or they can watch you like a hawk. I don't know, you guys. They're very jealous of the radical acceptance that you have for yourself and that you are the one that got away. I cannot. They are watching you guys because you seem angelic, incredibly lucky, high vibrational. So your angels are guiding you at this time and protecting you on your spiritual journey. Comment down below. My angels are guiding me at this time and protecting me on my spiritual journey. Like I feel people are burdened by your beauty. They are embarrassed by your beauty. You guys have all of these good things coming into your life right now. You're going to be able to travel. You're going to be able to move. You guys are transmuting a lot of pain. Your life is becoming more full. You are no longer feeling overwhelmed. You are no longer feeling like you have too many tasks. This is the fortune's wheel that is coming in for you. Luck and right timing. Comment down below. The world is mine. I am always calling in big opportunities. My life is perfect. I have so much gratitude in my heart. Can I please have some more? Like what you are fated for cannot miss you. You are transcending failure into a limitless future. Okay, you guys are transcending failure into a limitless future. And you are showing everyone how brave you are. 
because you wouldn't be able to get where you're at unless you were brave, like the absolute bravest. Not only that, you know your training wheels are gone, but you know that you're still being supported. You know that your angels are on standby. So let's see what else we get for you guys. And then we're going to get out some tea. I'm going to see if there's any more tarot. Ace of Cups. Wow. You guys have rapid growth, new love, creativity, emotional awakening. I'm telling you guys, you have all of this fulfillment coming in. You guys are also seeing really far into the future your opportunities, your success, and you're excited. Okay, you guys are the seer and you are excited about what the future holds. Wow, that is crazy. There are um, enemies, frenemies that feel like because they are in separation with you that you should be doing the most that you should be reaching out to them all the time. They feel abandoned by you. And this just failed attempts. Like they're not going to be able to reach you like they were before. I feel like they had you feeling bad about something. Okay? Not being there for them or I don't know. It's something that like they were blaming you for that you had nothing to do with. That is also a stage of completion for you. Um, closing out certain cycles with friends. Okay, these people wanted their own recognition, their own day in the sun. They wanted their own spotlight. They didn't ever want to actually be a supportive friend to you. And you guys are starting to see that. You guys have luxury coming in, success. Um, you are restoring order in your home. King of Swords. Like you are no one to play with. You are no one to play with. And they see that now. They uh, they took your kindness for weakness, and now they see what time it is. Okay, comment down below. My, my frenemies see what time it is. May they find their blessings elsewhere. You guys are becoming very business-oriented. You're becoming very quiet, very private. You're opening your heart to the enormous growth ahead. You are confident, energetic, courageous, charming. Comment down below. I am opening my heart to the enormous growth ahead. I am opening my heart to the enormous growth ahead. There were some people that were being nasty with you, impulsive with you. They were being fake. They were misrepresenting themselves. You guys avoided disaster by letting this relocation happen, letting this separation happen, and not chasing it. Like, oh, where'd my friend go? Just letting it all fall into place. Because you guys always land on your feet. You guys are feeling light as a feather. Like, there's some people that were showing you when they did not get their way, they were very temperamental. You're starting to see that these people are actually very unhappy, and that's why they can't really be that close to you or be your friend. That they're actually, they were hiding the people that you were in separation with, that you are learning how to detach from, they were hiding who they were. Okay. They fear um, suffering in any capacity, but now you are just going to be part of one of their memories, like you're not going backwards. Okay, you guys are not going backwards. Okay, let's get some tea for you guys and see, is there any tea that you need to know right now? I'm hearing that song, Here Comes the Sun. Yeah. Somebody here is getting married. Somebody here is getting cuffed. Somebody here is getting ready to buy a house. Somebody's being given the keys to something. Um, the keys to something very important. Someone here is being able to travel. It's like basically whatever your dream is, you are becoming a spiritual baddie, a spiritual gangster. I'm hearing a plane in the distance. 
Whatever your dream is, that is unfolding for you at this time. Was it to travel, to get your own home? Was it to get married or meet the right person? Was it for your spiritual business or for your career to take off? There is magic unfolding for you guys at this time. People are... <laughs> You guys, you guys got people naturally obsessed with you. They were like ODing on your everything. I don't mean that like, you know what I mean? But they are literally obsessed and binge watching you. Whether you have a social media business, whether it's a video that they have of you. People are obsessed with your light and how you make them feel. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. So I'm seeing someone do a lot of driving right now. Oh my gosh. Someone's coming in to give you your flowers. You guys are getting recognition right now. You guys are going to be getting a lot of recognition right now. There are special moments and a spotlight coming in for you. Um, but I'm also seeing someone doing a lot of driving, a lot of traveling. Wow. Yeah, you guys are... are in the spotlight. Okay. Anything else? Whoa. You guys are taking a leap of faith. No regrets. That is like the full card in this deck. New endeavors. New endeavors are here. Wow. You guys are releasing people with mind games. You guys are releasing the people that want to beef with you. You guys are releasing the people that make things difficult. You just don't care. You're in separation with anyone that does not serve you at this time. And I'm going to say that again. You guys are in separation with those that are not good for you at this time. These people, um, they were plotting revenge, karma, payback. It never, it, <laughs> they could never properly, properly execute their plan against you. Okay, they could never properly execute their plan against you they're having to take a flight okay they're having to take a flight to loserville they're having to take an l they're having to take it on the chin karma's a bitch and um they're catching these hands of life catching the hands of your ancestors for trying to be violent towards you or create a lot of animosity towards you Whatever it is that they were doing towards you, and they're so mad because you're magnetic, people are figuring out that they are slime. They are being exposed at this time. Even your frenemies are being exposed at this time. Dang. It's like they ha everyone has an axe to grind with you. You don't care. You don't care. You are bathing in pure love. You are bathing in pure love. You are open to receiving. You are open to abundance. Wow. You guys are a beacon of light in people's lives. And you are learning how to transmute all that is not love. All that is not love, you're like, bye. Bye. See you later. You're like, I don't care. You don't like me. I don't care. You're using your discernment. You are shining like the sun. And anything that does not belong in your life, you are throwing it in the fire. You are throwing it in the effort bucket. Chucking it in the effort bucket. You feel me? You guys are showing people that you have pure intention. I love that. You guys have pure intention. And the people that didn't like you for the longest are starting to see this. They look up to the way that you re-energize people, that you re-energize the workplace or the collective. Like, you guys are inspiring even your enemies. Okay, you guys are inspiring even your enemies. So, because of that, you are being showered with blessings for staying on your path, 
for surrendering your ego, for finding clarity. You are being showered with blessings at this time. And so you're paying it forward. The people that are acting kinder, that are offering a helping hand, even though they'd been mean before, you are accepting it. You're not being like, oh, you don't got nothing smart to say today. You're just like, okay, thank you. <laughs> so you are surrendering your ego. And to them, you are paying it forward by not calling them out, by not exposing them. You are resting in perfect oneness. Rest in perfect love, understand oneness. You are learning also how to ask for help. Okay, you're like, okay, the training wheels are off. I might need some assistance. Can you help me? You are on to this new endeavor. I love that for you guys. Okay, let's get you guys an angel number. Ooh, we got 115. Okay, 115 is your guys' angel number. I hope that that helped you guys. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Don't forget to smash the, you know what, hit the bell, duh. You don't want to miss out. You guys know I be posting sporadically. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.